This is Jared from Shunome, and today I'm going to do a quick video on some of my favorite uh, navigation and working tips in 3D. I realize that in videos, I'm often jumping around and clicking things a little fast, and people might not know what I'm doing or are familiar with all the kind of little tricks. So let's just run through some of my favorites. First off, we have the marquee tool, right? This is kind of dumb. But I want to go over it anyway. So we got the light marquee and the heavy marquee. So heavy marquee, you're going to see everything that's on all stories. When we hit uh, F4, we see all of that. So actually, let's let's take a step back. So marquee, empty space, right click. We can do show marquee in 3D or show all in 3D. So I'm going to do show marquee in 3D. That gets us that you know whole model. If we go back and we go to the marquee tool and we make it a light marquee and we do show marquee in 3D. Now we're just getting the stuff that's on that story. We're not getting all the elements. So that four. So that's the marquee tool. Next up is if we go to right click on this tab and go filter and cut elements in 3D we can define what we want to see. We can say we only want to see main from top, from lower to main floor. We want to trim elements to the story range and we want to see, okay, so we're going to hit okay. So now we're just seeing what's within those two story ranges. That's pretty cool. That's a view. That's a little different. We can go back and go to, sorry, up here, built in cut elements in 3D, infinite, uh, we could say show elements outside the marquee range. So what that means is if we are marquee, let's do a heavy marquee, and now we go right click, show marquee in 3D, we're cutting the marquee out and seeing what's outside of the marquee. I never use that, but that's pretty cool. Maybe I should. So filter cut elements, let's go back to inside marquee. Uh, the next thing is Cut surface display, use element attributes or custom. So if we go to custom and hit okay, now everything that's cut is just like cool and black. I used to use that for a long time, but now I do element attributes because all my attributes are in color. So if you cut through insulation, you see insulation. Let's go one more, Let's zoom back to this plan. One more that's cool here, filter and cut elements is all types. We can start turning things off and say, you know what, let's turn off windows and doors. And now we hit OK. And so here's the model, and it's shown all element types, but windows and doors. So something else you can do is you could do the opposite of that. We can say, show, you know, oh, I guess, I guess you. You have to show walls and doors all at the same time. But anyways, so that's filter and cut elements. That's pretty cool. Next up, hide element. So in ARCHICAD, I don't know, 27, 28, no, 26, 27, you select an element and now you can hide selection. So you can start individually hiding. Uh, I guess you can't hide a single window, but hide selection. So if you wanted to hide just this stuff, Right click, hide selection. That's nice. Where I find I use that, oh, sorry. Once I hit all that stuff, this is why I have to make this video. Did hide selection, and then I hit F4, which is show selection. When you have nothing selected, it just shows all of it. Um, where that hide selection is really nice is say I want to show a, let's go to navigate, Go forward. I want I want a camera view of this room. It's really hard to see that. I can select this wall, hide selection, and now I'm standing in the wall, but I have a better view of the room, right? So that, that wall is hidden. But now I can kind of fake that perspective that I want to show up. So I hit F4 again, so I got everything. I have keyboard shortcuts for this, but down here is the quick layers palette. Uh, it's under Windows, Palettes, Quick Layers. I love it. I have keyboard shortcuts for it too. Um, and what this allows you to do is to say, select a layer of some furniture and say, hide selections layer. You can undo that and you can say, hide every other layer. 
So that's another great way to navigate through the file quicker. And then see if there's anything else or if that covers all of it. So, okay, the other, I guess the other thing is, so I'm using the orbit tool, right? That's just keyboard shortcut O. But then sometimes I switch down here to the little, I, the little man, the um, 3D navigate, and then I'm now using the arrow keys and C to go down and spacebar to go up. So those, depending on what I'm doing, I'll switch between those two. Okay, something else. This is something that I think differentiates old ArchiCAD users versus most ArchiCAD users and ArchiCAD users versus users of other programs. And that is right-click uh, 3D projection settings using parallel projection set of perspective. As an ArchiCAD user, I've always used perspective. This is just so awkward. I get it. This is what we used to do, but like an axon or regular navigation is just goofy. So right-click 3D projection settings, it perspective, and then you got that nice. So if we go back there, 3D projection settings, Remember, you can set the sun. So if you want to be able to know what it's going to be like on the winter solstice in 2025 at noon, you know, you just set that up and there you have it. The other thing you can do here is you can mess with the intensity of the sun, the sun color. And then, oh, this two point perspective thing is nice where if you have a view here, right click two point perspective it just shifts the model flat a little bit to to get rid of the lines that are a little out of vertical so you could see that right it just flipped it forward to make it flat that's great the other thing about is the feature i have a keyboard shortcut for v i'm going to have to put it up on screen oh it is yeah, look to. So look to is a feature that if you press it and you like click on my keyboard shortcut is V. You do look to and you click on a thing, it will like look to that spot. I don't use that part of the feature, but what I do like it for is oftentimes, or not oftentimes, all the time in ArchiCAD, you have the 3D origin. You can see it right there. And so if you're taking a screenshot, which I do all the time to post on Instagram, uh, it's really annoying to have that origin. But if you press V, or if you use look to, which in my work environment is V, that origin goes away, and then you can take a, a screenshot. And then when you move again, the origin comes back annoyingly, but it's, it's fantastic to be able to do that V and have the origin go away. And then also when you click V, you can't highlight anything, so you're not accidentally hovering over, you know, you're taking a screenshot, but you start down here and you're accidentally you know, highlighting the ground and so you got this blue outline to your thing. So, okay, I'm looking at my notes. I think that's all my 3D navigation working tips. I'm sure I'm forgetting some, so leave some comments below about your favorite 3D navigation stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thanks.